being out of your country uh, is is not is not is not pleasant. It's not desirable. Um, but I think because of what's happened to us, we really had no choice. Um, like in his case, he has a family, and and it's very important. And you know, he was detained unlawfully. His wife was detained, and she was abused physically and verbally uh, when she was in when she was in detention, only because. Um, he's my brother, and she is his wife, and that is the kind of thing which uh, uh, why, why why you see us here. Um, but otherwise, whilst we are here, we are being well looked after, and um, we are still able to engage, literally on a daily basis, with people back at home. People come here to visit us. Uh, COVID has taught us how to how to how to um, you know interact virtually. So a lot of that goes on all the time. But it was a difficult time when you lost your sister, you couldn't even go to the funeral. Yes, it was. Um, I never thought I would live to see the day that um, what my father and my uh, mother went through to um, have to create a Botswana, that um, the current president's regime would then be in such a position whereby they denied the founding president, if I can put it that way, his daughter's funeral would be a situation where her siblings wouldn't be able to to attend. You know, we got a lot of mixed messages about whether we should go back or not or what have you, but the back of your mind, you know that if you can be just pulled off the street, as I, as, as my mm-hmm. twin brother was, because he was also detained, and my wife, as my brother had indicated, you know, she was treated so badly and she was put into the worst cell ever. It, there was just uh, urine and, and, and feces and all sorts of things and you know, there were men as well, which had access, we had access to the, to the women, and, and she was laughed at, and they were ridiculed, and it was just a very um, strange and unknown Botswana to us. But it was obvious that it was, there was a lot of politics behind and instigating that. We were detained for 48 hours, mm-hmm. and, um, you know, my questioning lasted all of an hour, then they had to let me go because it was 48 hours, and my brother and, and my wife mm-hmm. as well. And then, of course, no yeah, charge. Access so access to lawyers and so No, on. They, yeah, they denied us access to lawyers and, and all those sorts of things. Phone calls, we didn't have that, etc. So it was, it was really bad. But, you know, it, it's just a reflection of the type of leadership we have in Botswana at the moment. But, you know, it didn't happen to us only. The former Minister of Finance, Dr. Maseka, was also arrested. Well, not arrested, he was detained. Mm-hmm. And there's a picture of him in shackles. They put him in shackles, shackles mm-hmm. in chains, mm-hmm. you know. And then the former minister of... And, and um, the High Court ordered his release because yes. they said his detention was unlawful. Was, was unlawful. Yeah. So because we are not there, he's turning on his own people, yeah. who he thinks may be. And, and the other one was the former minister of um, foreign affairs, uh, who was the judge, mm-hmm. Dr. Unity Dow. She put out a voice, a voice mm-hmm. note telling people that she was going to stand for a position in the, in the mm-hmm. Central Committee. And literally saying she hoped she wasn't going to be assassinated or killed or anything would happen to her. So when people at that level are putting out voice notes saying, this is my journey, I hope I come back from it, that's what it is. And those are people in Masisi's party at the moment, so that's what it is. The recent SADC summit did honor your late father in terms of the contribution uh, to the struggle of this region. You couldn't even go uh, to receive an award. I know that others as well, like former President uh, Nyerere and uh, former President of Zambia, KK, and many others were honored. Yes, that is true. Um, We were told after the fact from others that those awards had been made to recognize the contribution of my father and that uh, a family representative should have been there to receive the award. And what we've been able to find out was that SADC had informed the governments um, to inform those affected families to say to them, this, these awards will be made and uh, could, you, uh, could you send a family representative? In our case, the Botswana government chose not to inform us and not to tell us about it. So the award that was uh, presented for my father is sitting somewhere I'm currently engaged trying to find out who has it and why was it that we were not informed.